Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle F1 channel. In this video, we are going to see Oracle database 12CR2, the transparent data encryption TD. It's just an overview. Let's go to the topic TD transparent data encryption. It is introduced in Oracle 12C R2 version. This is especially for Oracle database security purpose and data production. We can enable data column level and depth table space level that uh, encryption in the data production. Typical deployment of databases like users, application, DBA, DB server and DB files. This is a typical deployment of databases. There might be a attack surface many ways like the below picture is describing the attack, how to hacking the database files and DB files and data. So there are many ways users, application, DBA and DB servers. So we need to protect the data, user data, we need to protect. Direct access to data. So the users can access the data to directly. First of all, we need to know like what is TD, an Oracle advanced security feature that allows to encrypt data at rest completely transparent to applications. It is not an access control mechanism for Oracle database users. Notice that the data is encrypted only at rest. When the database server processes the data in the SQL layer, data records are decrypted and processed. Why TDE encryption? If attackers can gain access to the operating system as powerful user, example root user, root user or Oracle user, they can bypass the database and have direct access to data. Encryption can protect database files stored in the disk. Also, many regulatory campaigns require encrypting data addressed. Encryption options available. DBMS underscore crypto, client side encryption, TDE, column encryption. This is column encryption, it's introduced in 10G R2 onwards and table space encryption, it has introduced in 11G R1 onwards. In this presentation and in this tutorial, we only look at TD, table space, the transparent data encryption, TD setup. So here it is, that Oracle wallet master key, it's installed in the Oracle data dictionary and it is enabled in the column level and the table space level. TD workflow, set up wallet and master key, identify the tables with the sensitive columns, table spaces with the sensitive tables, and open wallet, encrypt the identified columns that identified table spaces, close wallet. This is a TD workflow. Oracle wallet, the PKCS number 12 formatted file residing outside of the database residing in the file system, encrypted using password based encryption as defined in PKCS number 5. Holds the TD master key. It is a good practice to set up the wallet outside of the Oracle underscore base and grant minimal privileges to the wallet folder. Setting up Oracle wallet, a specific wallet location using the SQL net Mora encryption underscore wallet underscore location. So here is the parameter we need to add and that is SQL Mora file encryption wallet underscore location equal to source method layer file and that uh, directory location we need to mention here. Initially set the create the master key in SQL plus and CDB dot root administer key management create a key store. That key store will be located in that uh, wallet location. I will wait for the password. We need to create that like that only. So this file is create file evalet.p12 in the wallet folder. So this is creates file called evalet.p12 in the wallet folder. 
opening the wallet once the wallet is opened the master key becomes available to the database administer key management set key store open identifier with password and the container all once the wallet is opened you can perform td operation column encryption and the table space level encryption so we done encryption of the wallet we shows the wallet status whether it is opened or closed Opening the wallet, select uh, the VR and parameters and status can connect in support the window and the wallet. So it's, so it's showing the file status is open uh, or not. In order to exercise the least privilege and the separation of duty uh, constraints, it is recommended to use a sys km user instead of sys dba to perform wallet management. All right. Two-tier key architecture. Master key is stored in Oracle Wallet Key Store. Table space or table column keys are stored in the database itself in the Oracle Dictionary. They are encrypted using the master key. If HSM is used for the Oracle Wallet, master key is not fetched to the database to decrypt the database table space and table keys. TD column encryption allows to you encrypt one or more columns of a table. Each column is assigned to unique symmetric key. The symmetric keys are stored and encrypted using the master key in the Oracle Data Dictionary in sys.en into dollar table. I create a NCM, NCMP table with the two encrypted columns. Create table like that way we need to create encrypt encrypt. User underscore uh, encrypted underscore column view shows the encrypted columns. So I can see here. So both the columns are has been enabled to encrypt. Can change encryption parameter encrypt or decrypt the column table columns later using the table statement. Can change both the master key and the table keys. If master keys change, no change to the encrypted columns. If table keys are changed, encrypted columns are re-encrypted with the new keys. All right. Hope you all understand what is TDE column level encryption. Limitation of column encryption. Higher overhead than table space encryption supports only BT indexes. Foreign key columns cannot be encrypted, cannot perform range scan over encrypted data, requires more storage. Table space level encryption. Every object on the table space is encrypted, specifically the encryption parameter at the time of table space creation. So we can create table space like create table space NCTS login data file. The data uh, file location size 32 m auto and on next 32 m which is size 2048 m default storage and create. So we need to mention encrypt keyword in the table space creation. Note that you cannot encrypt existing table spaces. So we cannot be able to do that existing table spaces. We cannot be able to encrypt, but while we are creating only, we can give the encrypt keyword. You can view the encrypted table space using the db underscore table space view, table space name and encrypted. So you can see here, it is showing yes. So we will encrypted table space table to see the encryption option set for encrypted table space. Re key support uh, that release, you can see here column encryption and table space encryption. In release, it will add to master key, yes, table key, yes, but table space encryption not available, master key, table keys not available. In 11GR1, column level encryption, master key, yes, table keys, yes, and table space encryption, no, table keys, no. In 11GR2, column level encryption, yes, table keys, yes, table space encryption, master key, yes, table keys, no. So in 12CR1, yes, but master key, yes, and table keys, yes, and table space encryption, master key, yes, and table keys, no. So in 12CR2, table space encryption, table keys also, yes. So that unified master key where both column and table space encryption uses the same master key, right? Column versus table space encryption. Here is a difference between the column encryption and the table space encryption. Column encryption is very expensive. Column is column encryption is expensive. So use it 
only if less than 5% of the application table needs encryption. So on another side, table space encryption used when most of the application data are sensitive. Number two, does not support hardware crypto accelerations. It supports hardware crypto accelerations in table space encryption. Number three, supports only B3 indexes in column level encryption and table space encryption does not have such a restriction. Number four, support a rekeying of data in column level encryption and table space encryption does not support rekeying of data. Number five, column level encryption can en encrypt existing tables and table space level encryption cannot encrypt existing table spaces. These are the key differences column versus table space encryptions. In this uh, tutorial, I have taken references uh, in this Oracle data, that's Oracle data database and so it is trans.hjm. I used to refer this document to collect and to gather this presentation. I hope you all liked this presentation and tutorial about Oracle transferring data encryption. This is just an overview. In my next video, I am going to give a brief demonstrate uh, with a live example. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching our telephone channel. Kindly do subscribe, share, comment and like. Thank you very much.